Good afternoon, this is Mike Palmer from Mike Palmer Homes. Bringing you another house on this lovely winter day here in North Carolina. Anyway, this name of this house plan, we call it the Princey, P-R-I-N-C-I. Um, and it's kind of this neighborhood, all kind of our uh, smaller house, big feel kind of series. It's kind of what was appropriate for out here. So I'm going to go over some of the customizations. You see the vertical siding and the shake. Um, that's kind of a uh, this is kind of a custom pattern that that this client wanted. Also, we got the custom color on the front door. It's very unique, and they they picked out their own front door. You can see that nice glass inlay there. And also uh, on this driveway, they're going to have I think some sort of trailer and RV here. So we did a uh, we got a typical driveway, and they did pay some extra money to get some additional concrete. But, you know, it's never going to be cheaper and look better than when the house is new. And, of course, our wonderful concrete people over at Lake Norman, they put all these nice expansion joints in here and did a heck of a job for us. And you can see um, they've got a hookup over there, a septic hookup for their RV and electrical hookup. So, um, you know, they can, they can accommodate all that out here. Uh, winter times so where the grass is starting to come in pretty nicely here. Hopefully the rain coming won't blow too much away. Um, anyway, they went with the black gutters. Black gutters with white soffit, which it seems to be a popular look. With the vertical siding and a coach lights on this side of the garage. They went with a long panel, long panel garage door. We've got our mirror tech columns coming up. Oh, and the windows. They kind of tic-tac-toe or grid. They call that prairie. And that's kind of a popular craftsman style. Um... This beautiful front porch work here. I think it's a neat job they do with that brick. Getting the concrete off the brick. Anyway, let's take a look inside. Yes. We've got the Mannington LVT floors. They want custom colors in here on their the barn door. It's got a stainless steel track. Barn door. Now this is the home office, which is you know after 2020. Became real popular. My home up where they got quad outlets, quad outlets there, quad outlets there, so they can uh, accommodate everything they need. Got a cable jack, um, a seven and a quarter inch uh, baseboard here, and a nice ceiling fan fixture. That's not a giant office, but it certainly is a nice office to accommodate, and it's uh, you know it's a great space to get away. Um, there's your door again in our foyer. There's our foyer light, and here we've got the We've got an eight foot opening, a tall opening going back to the two back bedrooms. We'll take a look at that first. We've got our two panel kind of craftsman style door with a custom paint color. And in all the closets, they went with wood shelves and chrome rods. And, you know, they cost a little more, but it's a lot nicer than wire shelves. Kitchen cabinets, a nice raised panel there. Uh, the gray granite. Uh, and this one just, it's got a tub shower. Nice picture they put on there. Just a standard tub shower in the bath number two. And you've got two back bedrooms. We like to wire them all with ceilings fans, and they did, did an accent wall color. And you know, we like our ball catch, double ball catch closets. And they did a kind of a custom closet organizer in here with uh, you know, chrome rods. <coughs> Excuse me. And we'll check out the other back bedroom. Oh, we do have uh, cable jacks and ceiling fans in the back bedroom. That's a pretty standard, standard option with us. Uh, right here. So again, I got a, an accent wall in this, this second bedroom. Um, and a custom set of shelving. High and low. There, so when you come in the foyer, we'll get back, go to the great room. Got this nice, great big stone fireplace with a rough hewn cedar mantle. And we've got uh, a random pattern flagstone. And that goes all the way up to the peak of a vaulted ceiling. Got a nice eight foot wide back door out to the, uh, so it almost feels like that screen porch is an extension of the living room. 
We'll go visit that in a moment. So there's a great big island here. She's got a nice big, big island, plenty of room for chairs. And they went with a 50-50 sink. Some people do a 60-40, some do a single bowl. And we've got a tile backsplash. That's a, that's a popular pattern we've been putting in. And the cabinets, uppers, lowers, nice gas range for the griddle. Um, there's your fridge over here. And they went, chose to go with quad outlets here and here. And the wine rack, the wine rack. And look here, plant has got a nice pantry. And that pantry. And they went with the Mannington floors on throughout these vinyl play floors. Have uh, been very popular and attractive and they hold up well. Anyway, we come back in here. We got one more accent wall. There's a laundry room. We got some pretty cabinets up here in the laundry room with that kind of cove, cove crown mold. And we got a cabinet here as you wash your dryer. And just another utility closet back here. And a window out to the RV pad. And let's look at the garage. Pretty standard garage, but you got two nice LED lights up here and a pull down stair. There, and it's just recently pressure washed, so it's still a little damp, but it's some beautiful concrete work there. Now let's go back and check out the master suite. Master Suite, look at the Mike Palmer Holmes signature window seat. A nice ceiling fan, got his and hers windows, but you still got your seven feet there, big enough for a king bed. And there is storage underneath here. But, uh, uh. and you got the old barn, you got views, you got woods back there. You can watch the deer and antelope play, there's views of the mountains. It's a beautiful setting here. And that does lift up, so you've got storage underneath underneath your window seat. That was a great place to, great place to relax, read, whatever. I have two in my house, a signature feature, and uh, we really like them. And we've struggled where to put outlets, but we started putting them on the sides there. That way you can plug in your phone, your computer, your iPad, uh, behind the bed. We got a electrical outlet, and um, you know, we got them along the wall. And in the bathroom, he got his and hers vanities. Huh? Nice spacious area in between. Now they have a, a nice drawer base in there. Sometimes we'll put like a, uh, uh, a sitting area there. Um, another nice feature. And it's a full wall mirror, makes it look bigger. But look at this tile shower. They got a white subway tile with a white grout. And they got the pebble, uh, pebble effect on the floor. And right here, like they've got a seat here. Okay, there's our niche. But that hides everything, it's behind the wall. But I really like that waterfall effect. I like the vertical accent. You got that, you get that shower head, and of course you got a, a rain shower head up here. The two of them, and that, that can light, it's called a can fan, it's also a, an exhaust fan. And of course your transom windows. Now we're down the hill here, it slopes upwards. So I guess, on top of your head, you can see what's going on on your, your neighborhood a little bit, but you're still low enough to keep your privacy. And of course, we got a commode room. And there's another closet, master closet. See, they got a lot of space out of this. We got chrome rods, we've got uh, you know, double shelf up here, more hanging space. More crow rods around here. You got shelves, shelves and a shoe rack, and more double closet here. Goodness gracious. I could fit more stuff in this closet than I could in my closet, and they've got the, the LED lights up there. Neat code, so it's a, it's a nice closet. A lot of space in here. Anyway, so that's your master suite. Let's go back out and 
Take a look at our screen porch. There's a screened in porch. We got ceiling fan out back. And it's done with six by sixes and a wooden pressure treated lumber. But this holds up much better under under roof. I mean it's still a ladder. We still got a still got a ladder. We're just about ready to close, but we got the exit out here and we got the roosters next door carrying on. And we did some extra extra slab work downstairs. They wanted a, um, a patio. So we had to do some grading here. We were able to save that nice tree in the backyard. It's a cool backyard though. You got the you know barn there, you got you know, you can hear the chickens. And um, there's a sod farm over here. Also, underneath the deck they wanted a nice concrete pad, so we did all that for them. So I got some nice storage space. It's a patio area. And they were able to get the lot next door. So, um, you know, they got plenty of buffer space. So anyway, that is our, t oh, put TV out, electrical on the TV outlet up there so they can mount a TV up there and have space for it. So, this is about, I think, 1,670 square feet. Um, so, it's not as, it's kind of on the smaller end, end of the range we'll build, but you see there's plenty of space in here, and the house is going to live really big. So, uh, it's just kind of perfect. Uh, now that my kids are more or less out of the house, I'm starting to eye up a, like that small house, big feel, downsize, but... You know, of course, as usual, the shoemaker kids have, shoemaker's kids have no shoes. So we don't know when that's happening. But anyway, look at these nice, three nice pendant lights. So we're real happy with the way this house has come out. And I hope, uh, hope our clients are really happy here. I think they will be. Um, once again, we appreciate you watching our site. We do sell plans if that helps you. Um, and uh, we should be coming out with some more videos uh, from instructional courses. So stay tuned, and if you found anything of value here, please hit that like button down below. That really helps the algorithm. And if you want to get notified of more videos, hit the subscribe button. So again, we appreciate you visiting our site, and uh, we'll see you on the next video.